open it up with just some general thoughts on the game today? Um, I'd like to say that Towson's a really good team. Um, I think you can tell uh, they're very balanced in their scoring and they're, hard, they're really difficult to defend. Um, I feel like we didn't do a great job of executing our game plan today, and we talked about uh, points off turnovers and offensive rebounding for them, and we just didn't do either. So, you know, when you don't do the things that you have to do to win the game, you have an outcome like we had today. Um, and it's frustrating, but at the same time, it's good for us to have this experience this early in the season. So we know when we face teams like this, what we have to do better. And I think that the players were disappointed a little bit in how we rebounded the basketball today. So hopefully moving forward, we can learn that lesson um, and do a, a little bit better job against teams that, that really focus on that. I know I was kind of joking around with Jade about it earlier, about her injury, um, but I asked her a question. She exited the game early, obviously, in the second quarter with that in ankle injury. Um, but before she came out, I know she was, she was kind of telling me the reason why, but she signaled to you that she wanted to hit for you. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about her, her just toughness and what that says about her character. Yeah, I mean, she knows that she can make them. I think that's the big thing when you get to the line is she knows that she's our best free throw shooter. So having somebody come in for her to shoot them, I think she knows uh, that she wants to do that. I love that she uh, was able to get back in the game after I think it was a minor minor ankle sprain or whatever that she had. So, um, yeah, I just love that she's, she wants to be in there and she wants to compete against good teams, and I'm happy she did that. Yeah. yeah. It was great to see. Yeah. Um, so talking about the other person I just talked to, Maddie, seems like she's really starting to find her shooting stroke a little bit. I know you kind of talked about her confidence at the beginning of the season and yeah. her ability in herself, but how important is her shooting ability going to be for the team moving forward? I mean, I think if you're starting, it's important, right? I mean, you're out there because you can do, you can play both ends. And I think Maddie being able to get into double digits now, back-to-back uh, -back games is nice for us because we need her to score uh, moving forward. I think with Maddie, she just needs to continue to work on the defensive end um, and get little, a little bit better there. You know, before she opted out, she was playing really good defense. And I, don't, I just don't think she's there yet. I still think she needs more reps and more experience and taking it personally that she, um, she didn't do a great job defensively, but our whole team did. I mean, I'm not going to blame anybody for that. I think it's more or less just us getting in a sync defensively as a group and then again going back to playing and defending the scout. Yeah. Um, so the team went on a little bit of a run in the third quarter to kind of cut into that town a little bit. What was the game plan out of halftime? And how did the team really demonstrate their grit and their determination by executing that game? Yeah, I think we really focused on getting the ball inside more in the second half. Uh, we didn't; It didn't seem like we got the ball inside at all in the first half, or if we did, we turned it over. Um, and we had, you know, Jade post up a little bit, Taylor post up a little bit, EJ post up a little. Uh, and we got some good cuts off of the, well, the uh, entries inside. And we got some scores from those people that got the ball. So that was more of a focus. I thought they executed till the very, very end of the game. Um, um, but for the most part, it was nice to see that we could make a little bit of a run. We just didn't sustain it because we couldn't get rebounds on the defensive end. So this is my last question, and you kind of already touched on it, but I want to dive a little bit deeper into it. They were really, the team was really aggressive in the third quarter offensively. How is that offensive aggression and intensity encouraging going forward when this team finds itself in potential deficits? Yeah, well, I think, you know, third quarters have been a struggle for us in the past. So it's nice to be able to come out of halftime with a deficit and be able to put numbers on the board. And they have to. They have to to get back in the game. And I think just having them understand that we need to play disciplined at both ends when you're down. It's like all of a sudden you're down by a lot of points and you feel like you have to do more, right? But you just really need to follow the game plan um, and be disciplined. And I think we were in and out of that throughout the game, especially in the second half when we needed to get started. So we're, we're getting there. We're definitely not a finished product, um, but I think this is a great learning lesson. They're not used to playing at this pace, so now they know what a fast-paced team looks like. Um, and then as we move forward to play teams like, like a Towson, hopefully we'll do a better job in transition and rebounding. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's it for me. Okay, thanks. Congratulations.